So you obviously like games and stuff like that, and you I can tell you're a big fan of sports, a big fan of sports game. So mm-hmm. how how do you feel about the direction that gaming is going in right now? I feel like, at least personally, I feel like it's heading towards a more battle royale, multiplayer, free to play to free to play type space, and it's mostly shooter type games. Like, how do you feel about that? I feel like the sports games oh. genre is kind of dying off a little bit. Uh, yeah. To keep it a buck with you, I buy every sports game every year, and I probably play each one for maybe two weeks. Okay. That's me. Um, that's, that's what I'm just saying. because I used to love Madden, Madden 12, Madden 13. Those were when like the ultimate team thing started. So it was before it was really pay to play, right? At that point, you could put money in if you want to. wasn't necessary. And so now every sports game, like, if you're someone like me who you have a little bit of extra money but you don't have extra time, you pretty much have to put the money in to be competitive, which is cool for the first-person shooters because they're going in a direction where, like, hey, you could buy shit if you want to, but none of this stuff's going to help you in the game. Yeah, just cosmetics, just skins. It's just cosmetics. So it's cool for them, but it's kind of a shitty place for us. <laughs> like, yeah. like every year, me and my boys, we play 2K. In the last two years, we just haven't been into it because I don't have time to, to invest to build my character up. And I'm not going to just drop 60 bucks for a game where I don't even know how long I'm going to play it, you know? Yeah. Well, 60 bucks on top of buying the game. Yeah, so, yeah, I, yeah. I forgot. Games are just in a bad place, man. Yeah, I forgot yeah. which rapper it was, but I saw some interview. It was the talking. game. It was yeah, the it game. was the game. <laughs> he said he skipped yeah. like I think it was like a hundred million dollar, a ten million dollar tour just so that he can get Legend in two K. <laughs> I was like, no, it was yeah. He he skipped it, but at the same time too, there was a huge controversy with him because two K is based on rep, right? Yeah. So pretty much, the better you do in the game, the more rep you get to get towards Legend, and he got caught. Doing two things. One, he had some kids playing on against him. And they just kept coming around and around and around, just letting him just, like, score 21 points every game over and over mm. again. Yeah. And mm. then, two, he got caught paying someone else to play on his account to, oh. to level him up. And, Dang. like, it was a big thing because, like, they didn't ban him or anything. Where the other people who were, like, were actual content creators in the, in the space got banned for less. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, yeah. yeah, it was a pretty big thing. Yeah. yeah, I mean that would be an instant ban, like in any other competitive or ranked system. Exactly. Any other but since it was like a, since it was a pretty big, probably the biggest celebrity in that plays the game, they were like, uh, "Not touching that one." But it was yeah. like yeah. a slap in the face <laughs> to the community, right? Like, yeah. So yeah, it's Honestly, all it's stupid, man. I feel like two K, because to me, two K is definitely the biggest sports game out. You know, in the last couple of years, most people play that yeah. game. Other sports yeah, and Madden games, fell off bad. Yeah, Madden so, fell yeah, off yeah. bad. Um, UFC yeah, is definitely not as popular. And I all, think FIFA's up there. FIFA, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Is more up worldwide. There. I yeah. forgot about yeah. FIFA. FIFA is definitely up there, but I feel like two K is the most played in the U S. At least, right? I feel like there's been so much stuff with that game with microtransactions and, like you said, pay to win. I just don't see how people have fun really playing it. You know, it it's definitely looks like a cool game. You know, you're playing basketball, you're shooting, you're playing sports type game. And I love sports type game. Like, my favorite sports game of all time is SSX. I don't know if y'all heard about that one. Oh, right. yeah. It's, that's yeah. The snowboarding, yeah, right? I yeah, I freaking old. love that. that game. Yeah. I used to play <laughs> SSX Tricky with my brother on, on the PS2. Yeah. PS2. It was <laughs> amazing. I want that game back so bad. But, you know, yeah. it's, we'll side note that. <laughs> but, yeah. um... It, I just don't understand how these game companies can just just put so many microtransactions and pay to win mechanics in the game. And lastly, you in, uh, spe- am I allowed to cuss on this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're fine. You're fine. Okay, so I'm proud of myself for stop allowing this company to fuck me, like yeah. because I, I was falling in that same trap for a while. I played through 2K20, and I I built a bunch of characters for 50 bucks a piece. And I just kept going over and over again. I, I got a little extra money on this check. The bills are paid. Let me build a 2K character. Yeah. And I finally, what it finally was, was 2K21. Uh, my daughter was born the night before the game came out. Yeah. We were in the hospital for like three days. Because she was not, because she was sick or anything. Yeah. Uh, she yeah, was born yeah. premature. So they had to do all the tests and all that. Yeah. And uh, I we, by the time we got back, like I legit didn't have the time to grind my guy. 
and I didn't want to spend extra money because I just had a newborn baby. Yeah. So I was kind of just like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna sit this year out. Yeah. And, I think, and then this year came around, I bought the game, but I played it for like a week. I didn't put any extra money on top of the game. And I told my guys, like, yeah, I'm going to sit this year out. So I finally let, like stopped letting the company just like yeah. screw me over. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's when most like gaming companies underestimate their players, right? Because once they get that moment where they finally take a little break, that break never is just a break. It's always like, right. I'm yeah. gone. You know, they say it's a break for a couple of days. Like for me, with Warzone, like I'm like I'm, I'm gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna go to Apex for a little bit. And that Apex break, it hasn't really ended. You know, <laughs> yeah. I haven't really been back to Warzone. The only time I drop in Warzone is once in a blue moon with Brian when he's like, "Yo, you want to join up?" You know, and Brian knows it's hard to get me on that game. It really yeah. is. It's hard to get me on that game.